I'm pretty sure everyone knows this legend. Well, I copied his editing style. In today's video, I'll guide you on editing like one of the most inspirational and successful YouTubers of our era. I'll showcase three editing techniques. Let's get started. Let's start with the text highlighting. First of all, we need a background. For this, go to CapCut and choose the white background from the library. Then go to Canva and set the background to green. After that, choose the square, shape it like I do, and then change its color. Import the colors the same way I do and choose the same animations. If the video is too fast, then pause it. Make a compound clip. Next, we will input our text. Choose this font and then choose this animation. Import default text. Choose the color you want for your highlight. Underscore two times. Modify it by turning off the uniform scale and playing with the height and width. Okay, now make sure you make a compound clip of the line. Now we will import the highlight a few moments after the text appears. Place it on the text. Go to mask horizontal, turn it minus 90 degrees. Make sure you are at the beginning of the video. Disable the clip to have a better understanding about the animation. Increase the feather by 60%. Keyframe on position. Then go 10 to 30 frames forward and drag the mast almost to the end. If you want the highlight to move faster, then move the keyframe to the left. Now for the last step. Go to opacity, choose multiply, and turn it down by 80%. We got our highlight. The next editing technique is called countdown money. Usually, you can do this much easier by using After Effects, but I will show a way to do it originally in CapCut. For now, open CapCut and import a green screen. Then import default text as well. Type in your number, it can be random numbers, but I chose to count down from 9 to 0. Then choose your desired font and also the size. Make sure you don't make the numbers too big. Go to animation and choose roll in. Reduce the animation to 0.1 seconds. Now copy the text and type in another number. Move it a bit to the left. Place them on the same Y level. For example, use the X position to move it to the left like I do. Repeat the process with the third number. Now go where the animation ends and make a cut. Type in another number. Use the animation and don't forget to reduce the length of it. Repeat the process to more times. Now type in the number zero and don't split the video anymore. I also decided to import a dot in front of the last zero. Now make a compound clip. Alt and drag to copy the clip. Go a few frames forward and place the clip there. Now move the upper compound clip to the left. Copy the one more time the compound clip and place it also a few frames to the right. Now undo the compound clip and delete all the numbers beside one. Type in dollar and the number one. As you can see, I don't have enough space for the number. Make sure you don't make the numbers too big. Let me adjust the number size. Make a compound clip of it. I will also add the effect of camera shape. 
Export the video. Now we will combine this animation with the clip and the money explosion. I will provide you with the money explosion clip in the video description. Before we start editing, let's adjust our settings. Make sure to choose free layer. Import the countdown clip. Choose chroma key and remove the green color. Place the clip as I do. Now duplicate the clip. Go to cutout and then click on auto cutout. We want our countdown to be before this clip, so we drag it above the clip. Now import the money explosion clip and remove its background. Increase the size a bit. We want the explosion to be behind Ollie, so we drag it between the two clips. This is also the reason I cut out the upper clip. To add things behind him, I removed the background. Now make sure to add the explosion. Where the countdown stops counting, this is what we have now. Let's start with the last animation. We will learn how to do this animation by working with CapCut, but also Canva. So we need our square. Import a vendor. I will choose this one because it's like Ollie's style. Then export the image and make another one. Go to CapCut and import the video and your items. Now import the first item on the left and resize it. Then make a keyframe on position. Go 30 frames forward. Now move it to the right. To make it faster, move the keyframe. Now import the second item. Place it where the first item ends. Choose fade in, reduce it to 0 0.2 seconds. After that, choose slide down for the second item and reduce it also to 0 0.2 seconds. Now apply the effect of camera shake. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content. Feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I love hearing from you. And of course, stay tuned for the next video. Until then, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.